a few facts about coast redwoods and their root system. Hello, I'm Mario Vaden. Uh, today I would like to talk about coast redwoods and their root system. Often I've heard or seen people post online that the coast redwoods have very sensitive roots and that is a real stretch from reality. Um, trees, not just coast redwoods, but others uh, can exert up to 170 pounds per square inch of pressure so that a one inch by 10 inch area that's 10 square inches could exert 1700 uh, pounds of pressure. And basically that's why you'll see trees lift sidewalks and roads. You could go to say, for example, Matoll Road in Humboldt Redwood State Park. Uh, I think they've repaved it, but if you see cracks starting to appear on the road again, that's from the tree roots going underneath and lifting it up. Also, the largest coast redwoods weigh just shy of 3 million pounds with the foliage. And it takes a lot of strong root to hold that up. So I could guarantee you that the roots are not all that sensitive on these. Now, uh, this comes up sometimes in the discussion of when somebody posts a photograph of themselves next to a tree like this, and someone who feels like they gotta be the uh, social internet police will say like, don't stand by that tree, you're gonna damage the roots. It's really not true in a coast redwood, but you'd also have to take it on a case by case uh, basis. Uh, I'm tending to refer to trees that don't get a lot of people by them, just sort of random trees um, as far as that goes. So just a tree here and there, it really doesn't hurt to photograph next to it. Now, whether or not vegetation was going to disappear from around the tree, that's a whole different story. Uh, today, I'm just talking about tree roots and whether they're strong or not. Uh, as far as vegetation, and that's just something that has to be done on a case-by-case -case basis. Honestly, I think some people really don't pay attention and don't care, and instructing them might not do a whole lot of good, uh, but it doesn't hurt. Uh, other folks, if they're professionals like myself and they explore, say off trail, we're in areas where there's so little traffic that the impact is near zero or zilch. Uh, something I would like to relate to this, I started horticulture uh, at country clubs and golf courses, if you want to speak of sensitive roots, bent grass is mowed to 125 thousandths of an inch, about a, a one eighth of an inch, uh, very tiny. And a section of a golf green will get two to 300 uh, or more golfers a day at the one golf hole. And so then you can see that the area around the green on that hole will get a little bit worn. So every day that that hole is moved from point to point due to severe traffic around it. And then after about a week, it recovers. And usually about a week, week and a half later, you can bring the pin placement back to that hole again. Uh, so people that are professionals that move around plants is a whole different league. Um, anyway, the pressure that these put down uh, and the weight is, is so extreme, they literally can kill themselves, self-destruct. I call it the Achilles heel of Coast Redwoods. You could look at my page on that. Uh, it's titled something along the lines of the Achilles heels, Achilles heel of Coast Redwoods. And say the largest ones that are about 2 million pounds, for example, if you take an area that's the size of a coffee table you know, say about 30 inches by 50 inches long, if on that space of a tabletop worth the square feet, uh, say three by five, 15 square feet, uh, the pressure is like putting 1,460 pound sacks of concrete stacked up in a column like that, or it'd be almost like 30 to 35 pallets of concrete bags stacked on top of one another, all on that one space. And so as a result, the tissue can and will get destroyed on the underside. So if you ever see these big trunks fall over, sometimes due to death or wind uh, in age, and it takes them over and you see a little cone shape on the inside of the roots when it falls over, uh, it's kind of got an indent in the middle. Uh, they literally can destroy their own tissue because uh, when they're younger, they could exert a little bit of pressure with outward growth off the roots on the underside. Uh, but at some point the soil is going to compact and there's going to be no more room for expansion of tissue on the underside. Uh, and then basically the tissue would just kill, get killed off. It won't get air um, to it for exchange of gases. And it just literally can crush itself 
under there, although on the top surface of the root above, there's room there for expansion on the roots. Uh, so it's just a matter of how long they can live, uh, but they're almost self-destructing. Uh, there would sort of be a limit to how big they could get. Uh, and it's sort of what the tree can withstand and how much damage it's done to its own roots. Anyway, so as far as tree roots, yeah, be aware that there's little tiny roots like root hairs at the end of the tips where they uh, kind of go out. But in general terms, the roots are really strong uh, on these. They are not delicate. And also, like this tree has no wear and tear visible on the tree roots. There's a big surface root here. There's bark on it. This is growing and expanding. And this is seeing decades of people walking here by this tree, occasionally taking photographs. Where there is damage is on the trails. If you hike the trails in this park, which is Prairie Creek, uh, sometimes you'll on the trail see uh, a network of roots showing it, the surface. And uh, you'll see those are a little bit worn on the middle. So if people, if you hear them say, stay off the roots of this tree because you're going to damage them, but go on the trails because you won't do damage. That's not really true. Uh, the trails probably would put more damage on tree roots uh, because it goes through more trees and goes over more root systems. And again, that is totally separate from the management of vegetation around a tree, which is a whole different story in itself. So anyway, uh, I hope that helps you understand the trees a little bit better and have a good day. Thank you.